Hello, what's up? I'm the Tultima Doom here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm going to be talking about the Halo Mega Construct sets that I unfortunately missed out from the years 2020 and 2021. Now this isn't going to be as extensively long as some of my previous videos because this one is actually a pretty short list. I didn't miss out on too many sets. Uh, with the Halo Infinite lineup, it seems like more stores were getting those things despite the fact that I missed out on a lot of the mystery packs and no store seemed to carry the Halo Heroes despite the fact that I have most of them. Still, with the other sets like the combat units and, and you know, the major ones like the Pelican and, and you know, the, the uh, whatever else, uh, I, I seem to manage pretty well with it. So we're going to be talking about the 2020 sets starting off with the Master Chief versus Arbiter. This set never came out. I don't know why. It just it never showed up on anything. Couldn't find it. Tried to look for it in stores or online. Never saw it. So yeah, Master Chief versus Arbiter. Would have been cool to get, especially to get a prime version of the Master Chief and the Arbiter. Plus all the weapons looked really cool. But yeah, unfortunately, never got it. We also have the Hermes Hammer Power Pack. So this one's a more smoky version of, I think it was the, yeah, it's the Hermes Spartan. Of course, it's in the name, duh. But uh, yeah, this would have been cool to get, especially for that gravity hammer. It looks fantastic. That plasma pistol looks pretty cool. Uh, the SMG looks very nice as well, but uh, mostly for that Spartan, because I think the smoke transparent color scheme looks fantastic. We also have the red JFO Spartan. I would have loved to get this to counter the Grenadier. Spartan pack, and uh, yeah, I like it in red. The EVA looks pretty cool. That would have been nice to counteract the one in the building box as well. And uh, yeah, just all the armor types looks fantastic to me. I, I, I love the Reach style armor, and uh, yeah, I think it looks very nice. Moving on, we also have the UNSC Spartan 3 customizer pack. This one comes with an armor set for the green Spartan, as well as a purple Spartan for the Reach style. And man, I really wish I got this set. I think someone's helping me out with it, so that's awesome. But, you know, to get more of the Spartan in green, I'm trying to get most of the Spartans in that metallic green. So that would have been nice to just get a set where you have all these different armor types. That would have been cool. And I love getting UNSC figures in kind of the counter color of the Covenant. You know, to get Spartans in purple just seems a little weird. It's not like we can't have purple Spartans. It's just, you know, purple. I mostly associate with the Covenant. And it's kind of funny to see a set with green and purple. It just keeps giving me nostalgic vibes. But again, it's a Spartan this time around. And to get that with different armor sets, I think that's lovely. Uh, yeah, just a really nice looking set to get. Uh, we also have the Sword Base... Uh, sorry, Sword Base Invasion. And this one's an interesting pack. So this one comes with the only version of the new articulated skirmishers that we've gotten so far. I think Halo Universe should not sleep on the skirmishers. I think we should get them in gray at some point because that was the original color scheme for the skirmishers. We had a lot of them with the old articulation. And I think maybe in the mystery pack lineup or something, we could get the skirmishers come back. Because uh, I think it would have been no problem for them to return, uh, you know, to the skirmishers. But the Spartans were really interesting as well. I like the blue and yellow color scheme. It kind of reminds me of that Skyfire set from the, uh, I think it's the, the mechs uh, that came out around the same time. So yeah, I don't have this, but fortunately someone is helping me out with getting this. So that's super awesome. But at the current moment, I don't have it, so I'm adding it to the video. Anyways, moving on, we also have some of the Halo Heroes. We've got the Series 11. This is the Spartan CQC. This one I really wanted. I love the brown color and the netting around the chest. I love that particular weapon in the color scheme. The blue visor looks fantastic. I don't even think I have this weapon in anything. I just realized that. I, I don't think I have it because I... I would remember the rotational piece inside it, and I don't recall that in anything I own. So yeah, funny part with that. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice deco for this particular Spartan. Yes, most of it is brown, but I think it really works for it. We also have the Arbiter. <laughs> Sorry, some of the elite names are really hard for me, but uh, yeah, Repa, Mar Maromi, 
sure, why not? <laughs> um, sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, I think this is very cool, especially with the dual energy sword. I think that's very nice. The silver armor is pretty cool. Yeah, this would have been nice to get, but unfortunately, never found it. Spartan Lang, or the ODST, he looks pretty cool, especially with that purple and gray. I mean, I just talked about the purple Spartan, so obviously I would love to get this, especially with the visor color. Oh, that in purple looks fantastic. And then we also have the Remnant Hunter. This one was the major one that people wanted to get, but it was really hard to find because they only packed two of them, and it was such a great value because he had this huge looking figure compared to everyone else and it was for a decent price too you paid pretty much the same price of this compared to a spartan or even a grunt would come out around the same time so yeah this would have been nice to get especially in that red color scheme i, I think it looks pretty cool and i i think one of the biggest key things as to why it was so hard to get was not only the fact that there were two in a pack but people would often buy two because they would come in pairs so if you found the full box either it would have one of the hunters because someone didn't have a clue or just wanted one of the hunters or it would miss out on both of them anyways uh we also have the UNSC mongoose this was more of a basic version of the woodlands uh i think it was the gun goose that came before it but pretty much a similar build this one came with an enforcer spartan it wasn't something that i felt like i had to get because the enforcer spartan we've seen that in blue before uh the mongoose you know that's been done before i like the woodlands one a little bit more but i think this would have been nice it's also got the oni logo on the top there so that would have been a nice touch to kind of make it a little different compared to some of the other mongooses Again, it's not the most exciting thing. Would love to get it, but, uh, you know, I'm not kicking myself over for it. Uh, we also have the Elite General. So this is one of the only Halo Infinite sets that I'm going to talk about that I missed out. Despite the fact that I'm missing out on a lot of the mystery packs, I'm still missing this, but I am getting help from other people on getting the Elite General. So hopefully soon I can get it. It is a very nice looking Elite. And then last but not least, which again, I believe someone's helping me out with it, there's also Escape. So I don't have the set at the current moment. I love these helmet sets, so hopefully soon I'm able to get it. So yeah, that is going to pretty much be it for now. You know, there's other sets that I don't have coming up, especially from 2022, but there's no sense in doing a, hey, these are the sets that I'm missing right now because... Either stores just don't have them available yet, or I haven't jumped on them yet. I'm still waiting on the Garrison pack. I don't know where that's going to be available in Canada, but still waiting on it. But at the current moment, those are the sets that I'm missing out. So I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I will see you guys next time.